Hey everyone, you're listening to the Moving to Kelowna podcast hosted by the Brandon Grass Real Estate Team with eXp Realty. We are the local real estate experts you need when buying, selling, or relocating to the Kelowna area. If you're considering making a move to Kelowna, it's essential to weigh the pros and cons before making a decision. In this episode, we'll start by looking at some of the city's drawbacks from limited job opportunities and traffic issues to a poor transit system and limited shopping options. We'll delve into all the factors you need to consider before making a move to Kelowna. But don't worry, it's not all bad news. After we've explored the cons, we'll also take a look at some of the advantages of living in this beautiful city so you can make an informed decision about whether or not it's the right place for you. So let's get started by looking at the cons of living in Kelowna. Con number one, lack of job opportunities. One potential drawback of living in Kelowna is the limited job opportunities available. While the city is growing and thriving, the job market can be competitive, making it difficult to find work. If you are relocating to Kelowna, it's a good idea to secure a job before moving or to see if your current employer offers relocation options. That being said, certain industries in Kelowna have more job openings, such as healthcare, education, construction, agriculture, and tourism. As of December 2022, there were 3,768 job postings in Kelowna listed on Indeed.com, with 1,377 jobs offering more than $25 per hour, 460 jobs providing more than $35 per hour, and 88 jobs providing more than $55 per hour. If you are searching for a job in Kelowna, the classifieds on castanet.net is a good resource to check out. Con number two is the traffic. One potential drawback of living in Kelowna is the traffic. While the bridge traffic may be better than in larger cities like Vancouver, the city's layout and lack of advanced turn arrows can make navigating the roads a challenge. Harvey Avenue, which runs through the center of Kelowna, is often congested and can add significant time to your commute. Additionally, the city's HOV lane is located on the right side of the road, which can create confusion and slow down traffic flow. The traffic in Kelowna is also known to get worse during the summer months due to an influx of tourists, which can be frustrating for locals. Overall, the traffic in Kelowna can be a challenge for residents and is something to consider before making a move to the city. Con number three, our transit system or lack thereof. One potential drawback of living in Kelowna is the poor public transit system. If you've come from a city with a well-developed transit system, you may be disappointed by the limited options available in Kelowna. The city's transit system is still in the early stages of development and cannot cover all the areas of the city. As a result, routes may be restricted or cancelled and buses may not run late into the night. This can be inconvenient for those who rely on public transit to get around and may require alternative transportation options such as taxis. Overall, the public transit system in Kelowna is a potential drawback for those considered making the move to the city. If you're interested in staying up to date on the latest Kelowna real estate information, be sure to sign up for our weekly email newsletter. Each week, we'll send you the best of our content, including market updates, expert insights, and featured properties. Sign up at greatkelownahomes.ca forward slash email and look for the sign up form to join. Con number four, shopping. If you're like me and love to shop and need a good case of retail therapy now and then, well, you might have a hard time dealing with the lack of excellent retail options that exist in Kelowna. We are seriously lacking on the shopping options front. For a city our size, you'd think we'd have an Ikea, H&M and several other fantastic fashion designer outlets. Well, sadly, we don't. Every few months pre-COVID, the wife and I would head out on a mission for a weekend away in Vancouver and get our shop on. That's how we get our fix. Con number five, cost of living. Calling Kelowna and the Okanagan home comes at a premium. For now, Kelowna remains relatively affordable compared to cities like Calgary, Vancouver, and Toronto, but it's far from cheap. 
The average single family home costs more than 1 million and the average two bedroom, two bathroom condo rents for more than $1,700 per month. With the increase in demand, real estate prices and rental rates continue to climb and with limited job opportunities, the cost of living in Kelowna can prove quite challenging. They call it the sunshine tax for living in BC and being able to enjoy the Okanagan sunshine and while our amazing lifestyle is becoming more and more desired, unfortunately the costs continue to rise. Now for the pros of living in Kelowna. Pro number one is the weather. One potential advantage of living in Kelowna is the wonderful weather. With over 2,000 hours of sunshine and an average temperature of 28 degrees in the summer months, Kelowna's dry, desert-like climate is a major attraction for many people. In contrast to the snowier regions to the north and the cooler, rainier areas near the coast, Kelowna experiences four distinct seasons and only receives around 15 inches of rain per year. If you enjoy sunny, warm weather and the ability to enjoy outdoor activities all year round, Kelowna may be the perfect place for you. Pro number two, the lakes. Okanagan Lake is a beautiful and popular destination in Kelowna, known for its crystal clear waters and numerous recreational opportunities. At 135 kilometers long and 5 kilometers wide, the lake is the perfect place to enjoy a variety of water sports in the summer months, with water temperatures averaging between 19 and 23 degrees Celsius. Outdoor enthusiasts can participate in activities such as stand-up paddle boarding, wake boating, sailing, charter boating, fly boarding, kayaking, canoeing, fishing, and even snorkeling. In addition to Okanagan Lake, nearby Wood Lake, Skaha Lake, and Kalamalk Lake also offer excellent opportunities for water-based activities. Overall, the abundance of lakes in the Kelowna area make it a great place for those who love to spend time on the water. Feeling overwhelmed about moving to Kelowna? Don't worry, our free guide on relocating to Kelowna will provide you with the guidance you need. Download your copy today at greatkelownahomes.ca and clicking on relocate at the top of the page. From there, you can request your guide and get additional real estate and relocation resources to help you with planning your next move. Pro number three, stunning beaches. Kelowna's climate is perfect for sunbathing and swimming, providing six to eight months of sun and fun each year. That's right, maybe it's time to throw your umbrella away. Greater Kelowna has over 30 beaches to choose from, many of which feature playgrounds, picnic areas, and beautiful white sandy beaches. The beaches come alive with live music, festivals, and entertainment on summer nights, with parties and festivities lasting late into the evening. One of our family favorites is music in the park. Pro number four, Educational options. Education is a top priority for families in Kelowna, allowing children, teens, and young adults to learn and grow. Kelowna is included in School District 23, the Central Okanagan School District, which boasts some of British Columbia's best rated elementary, middle, and high schools. In addition to the University of British Columbia Okanagan campus, UBCO, is located in the northeast of Kelowna and is part of the University District. Quail Ridge neighborhood. The campus offers 62 undergraduate programs and 19 graduate programs. In the Lower Mission neighborhood on KLO is Okanagan College that offers loads of entry-level programs including a wide range of trade school programs. There are also some great investment type properties in both of these university and college locations. Pro number five, Big White Ski Resort. Winter is a special time in British Columbia, providing plenty of snow for outdoor activities. Big White Ski Resort can be the ideal opportunity for someone searching for a local winter wonderland. Offering skiing, snowboarding, tubing, and an outdoor frozen pond that always hosts a puck and stick hockey game. Locals enjoy escaping the less than one hour commute from the hustle and bustle of the day to day and enjoy the laid back resort lifestyle this incredible place has to offer. The snow gods deliver loads of the world famous Okanagan champagne powder offering up over 750 centimeters of annual snowfall. With 16 chairlifts and 2,765 acres of skiable terrain, it's no wonder why this resort continues to win award after award. 
Kelowna is also home to two other resorts, Silver Star and Apex Mountain, providing plenty of ways to hit the slopes with homes just moments away. It's possible to live and play in Kelowna's cold weather paradise. Now, I know that many of you may be listening to this podcast while driving, walking, or at the gym. I do the same thing when I listen to other great podcasts. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out to me on my Instagram by sending me a DM at brandon.grass. And thank you so much for listening to this episode. If you have never left us a review, I would be so honored if you would do that and just take 30 seconds to leave a review below. It helps more people in the podcast app see this podcast podcast and that is my goal this year is to help more people buy sell and relocate in the Kelowna area again my name is Brandon Grass and I sincerely hope you got a ton of value from this podcast if you are considering moving to Kelowna and the surrounding areas I would love to know how my team and I could help you the Brandon Grass team offers a wide range of real estate and relocation services to make your move as smooth as possible so feel free to contact us for more information or if you have any questions or need assistance with planning your next move. My personal cell number is 250-212-5672 or email brandon at greatcolonahomes.ca and be sure to visit us online at greatcolonahomes.ca or on any of your favorite social media platforms by just searching Brandon Grass. Thank you so much for listening to my podcast.